Hello and welcome to another episode of My Opinion Means Nothing. Uh, today on my show, I am joined by a very special guest. He goes by the name of Sean Rivers. Hello, man. Hello. How you doing? Very well. Very well indeed. Well, I'm going to ask you how your day was just for the just for a laugh. of the, day, just, of the just, show, just... you know. <laughs> well. Although I do somewhat know. You, well, you've been brought in. Yes, yes. You've been, you've been brought into the Sean Rivers show that was today. I mean... It started off pretty good. Um, I woke up, I finished off some writing from yesterday. I was watching something on Netflix um, on plastic. Oh, okay. Um, just because like, I'm massively aware of, of, of how much we uh, use and how much is around and how bad it is. I'm totally aware. But I, I was still like, I'm really curious to work out exactly. It was an interesting watch. And um, I sort of, was woke up this morning I had some stuff to write to get out and um, so I re- that was quite nice to get up and I had some ideas to jot down so I started work- working on a poem um, around that theme and I was like right okay cool and then I had to go meet a friend in Soho um, and I had not seen her for a little while uh, two years in fact so in fact she came to a gig of mine last week so I said let's just meet up and ca- sometimes at a gig you can't get a chance yeah, to yeah, chat yeah, not because you, cause there's all the noise yeah, and it's all and you're sort of wrapped up in what, you, what you're about to go and do so we went to the uh, French house in Soho a couple of cheeky halves and stuff all cash all going well but then it was it was the route back because I was aware I got a meet so that's when after I finished my pints uh, half pints in there and I was like because it's French and I was like right I need to go and get a, uh, a memory stick, a uh, USB, which is a bit of an old school purchase. But I'm, I'm aware I've got to get that done before tomorrow. Where suddenly I was like, oh no, I've got things that I need to do now. <laughs> I, I got comfortable. I was like, I know I've got this interview with uh, what, what, this podcast with uh, Corey. I've got to get back for that. I said six. We've been chatting a while. I was I still I wasn't stressed because I'm not as very like stressed. Guy. Then I was like, oh wait, if I actually had today off. I enjoyed meeting my friend, but I was actually like, really now I'm near like Soho Oxford Circus and it's kind of like <laughs> not my area to be in, in the baking sun. Yeah. I was, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, I've been chatting just at that point where it's now like rush hour. So I was like, okay, it's going to change pace. I was like, your life's about to change pace, Sean. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to get up and do a bit of writing. And see, now you've got to leg it, get this USB, get, get back on time. Because I said, like six yeah, o'clock or whatever, six, yeah. and um, so uh, jumped. Oh, I was I was walking down. I got the USB, not from Maplin because they're shutting down. It was eighty percent off. There was literally like two things left in the shop because everyone's just been buying it. And there was definitely no USBs. Got it from somewhere else. I was like, right, I walked down, walked to the bus, got on the got on the um, one three four, and then he just broke down. Oh. Yeah, he started just like, and, and he, but he didn't make any announcements or anything. It's just confusing. So I was like. <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to go over. I was like, I think I'm owed a explanation for this, right? And uh, I was like, but excuse me, man, you've not really said anything. You just really like turn, like just we're at standstill. People are a bit confused because you're at least like making an announcement because I got on one stop ago. Like if you knew you were yeah, going to yeah. stop here, couldn't you have not, <laughs> I couldn't have not got on this, yeah, not be know. in the situation. And uh, he was a little bit asked, but then he, he, he's like, well, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this humming sound is only low pressure and uh, basically we're broken. I can't move. Uh, here's your ticket for the next bus. So he gave me my ticket. I was like, okay, a bit annoying. Because we literally just, you know, you just sat there going, oh, he's, we'll get moved in a minute. Yeah. Oh, we'll get moved in a minute. I'll sure he'll make an announcement in a minute. And maybe I was too chilled. I was like, oh, now I'm just sat here. And I'm, you know... None the wiser. No, none the wiser. Yeah. So I was like, they walked, walked down. I was like, right, maybe I should get a little bite to eat because I haven't eaten. And if we're doing the interview, I'm not going to get a chance to cook till later. So I was like, hmm, Greg's, Greg's is close. And me being a northerner has a soft spot for a Greg's. Yeah. And uh, that bit where I walked past like Warren, Warren Street and it was like Northern Line. I was like, if I get on this now, at this moment, I'll be back quick. Because it's just before rush hour and it's only a couple of stops. And I was like, oh, I need the Greg's though. I need a little bite, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that decision, 
made things a lot worse. <laughs> Usually, the decision to purchase the Greggs it makes things a lot better. <laughs> I'm not a walk. I'm not an advert here, but I was like, went and got it, and uh, then I was like, well, it's too far back to walk to one street. I'll just keep walking down, walking down, jump to the next bus. This is packed out because it had the overspill yeah, from yeah, everywhere. Yeah, so we're yeah. baking hot in a, a greenhouse on wheels going so slow I think a snail overtook us at one point just and I was like hang on a minute I feel like I'm sat still again right and now not I mean, it's getting even hotter I was like it's my day off and it's beautiful and I've had a good day so I'm going to remove myself from this world I'm going to get back on my feet I'm going to be a bit late I'm going to walk down I'm going to get there whenever Corey's a cool guy He'd yeah, be, right. he'll find something to do he'll find he'll, he'll find a, a nearby playground <laughs> a park or a, a wood park yeah. and, uh, and so um, I'm sure that'll be fine then I, I love a charity shop oh and then there's that particular one uh, where things got even longer more drawn out uh, is a really good one I was like oh, I need to pop in here and um, for something so I just think it's best way to get stuff is get it from charity shops cheap you yeah know what I mean? of course and people yeah. throw away old tat that they yeah. think is old but really and truly is yeah. other people's bargains or like sometimes i uh, people throw away crazy things yeah. in the charity shops like uh, i don't know you can find like limited edition yeah. dvds that people are throwing away and are like oh well i don't want to watch this anymore but then books you, as well first books, editions yeah, first yeah. editions you find a lot yeah. of charity shops yeah. i've got a john lennon poetry book oh wow weirdly he put poetry book out oh wow yeah it's, it's quite odd um, some work better than others cool cover um, some of it's very uh, nonsensical like um, almost um, like um, almost like Sid Barrett Pink Floyd that, yeah you know, or, or um, yeah that kind of that like, English trippy sort of uh, when was thing. the poetry book written was it before the Beatles or oh, during I, it or? I think it was as he'd just gone solo. Oh, okay. So he started to, you know, hang out with Yoko and think, oh, I'll write a few poems. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I might as well be. But uh, I got that book. I mean, it's, it's uh, and that's, I checked it and it's, it's like a few hundred quid online. I got it for like eight quid. <laughs> and I just, just didn't, didn't, obviously didn't have a clue, but uh, yeah, you can get, anyway, I went in and got this um, jacket, a, a black one that's tight fitted for like seven quid. But when I was getting my... I, I was going to pay for it in coins. So I got all my coins out uh, and laid them out uh, on the counter. And I laid my keys out. <laughs> and I sh- and, uh, amongst the coins. <laughs> yeah, amongst the coins. And then paid on card. Put my coins back in. Didn't put the key in. Came out. Carried on walking down. See, I was like, I've walked this far. I'll walk more. Got there. Met you. And then we were chatting. Everything was cool. And then I was like... Oh, that thing of the keys and I was just like I'm not the guy who leaves keys it's yeah, just because yeah. like I just that's not my thing because I just value your bed I'm, I'm making sure I take my keys out and they you come home you do check before phone keys yeah. wallet I've got yeah, it yeah I mean phone and wallet yeah but keys I always keep yeah. um, and I was like this is a bit weird and I was like no one's in the house so I mean, again it's a beautiful day no, we, it is. we could have done many things yeah, yeah, we would have yeah. ended up having a good chat yeah. whether we were recording or not but it's like Gonna ha- and I was like, no, but rang the charity shop, and she was like, I've got them. I was like, I knew it because, and I just like, ah, oh. uh, it's when you're distracted a little bit. Because yeah. I was thinking, uh, it's your fault. No, I'm, th- I'm thinking, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? It's like you know, you're just thinking, oh, I've got. A-. It's when you get stressed or rushed. Yeah, that's when when you go slow. That's when everything stays where it is. Yeah, when you take it's when you're time, getting yeah. there. So sort of thing. Um, like you were saying about being feeling rushed before at your old place like you don't tend to get a lot of things done if you feel rushed or yeah. you rush to do it but then you're yeah. not doing your best work because you're rushing to get it done exactly yeah slow down I've come that um, also health wise mm. stress it's it's that's the one the main yeah. one and it's such an well in a weird way it's, it, you can't avoid it but at the same time it's such an unnecessary one mm when you just breathe and you close your eyes and you go, is it that important? It will all work out, you know. Is it that? And it actually, most of the time, it isn't worth it's not really. what, what your majority, what you're... Um, Stressing about. about. Yeah. yeah. The small ones, big big things happen to you and you've got to deal with that. But that's a different kind of stress. Mm. But that, the, the, the small scale day-to-day, you can just whoosh, not get caught up in nothing, you know. Yeah. 
Um, and then a lot of the time, I find that depending on who you talk to, there's certain people that they try and put whatever they're going on, going through on you instead of yeah. just using you as a, a kind of a someone to vent at. And they try and put it on you and then you feel that kind of weird energy like you're putting this yeah. onto me and exactly. now, I'm, now I need to carry what you're yeah. giving me. And, and it you feels... know what? That is a big thing to learn because when you've got a good car manager like me and you've got, yeah. you draw in people who haven't got that. They're still nice people, but they have a different energy, and they they gravitate weirdly because they want your energy. What ends up happening is sometimes you absorb and take yeah, on theirs, yeah. keep your own. So if you yeah keep your own being when you're on that. It's like when I go to this, my friend does this night. He's a performer, but he has to put on a night, and he goes to pieces. He gets so stressed because he's not a um, a promoter or a a, a host. Yeah. He's a acoustic performer yeah. and he's so calm on stage um, um, but when he when he has to do these he, he always pulls them off and I help out but it, it's he gets so stressed and what I do when he comes over and he's like ah and he almost wants out of comfort me to be as stressed as yeah. him but actually I just in, in a weird way that would help them but and I just stay I, I may, I've got a performing limit so I can't be losing my I've got to stay where in my place stay calm hopefully I'll for you some of my calmness yeah. but at the same time you need to be willing to, to accept, accept that, that. Yeah. so that's that's um, that's how we all work isn't it yeah. really it's when you want that energy as well if you think oh they've got a good energy and you go and copy their good energy that can be great because mm. you then bounce um, that's a funny one I've actually thought about is that sometimes just by being pulled into people's energy you lose your um, sense of self yeah Sometimes in relationships, um, talk about um, there's always a third entity in the room. So you've got me and you now, mm. where we create, what we project out is creating a third, this invisible mm. okay. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we put into that and we put into that. So um, we have me, we have you, and we have the, the third, which and is what we are creating whilst we talk. And I guess like, the more you spend time with a person, the more you that third becomes one. And you one. morph into yeah. the third. Yeah. And weirdly, I've sometimes got out of relationships when I've clocked that I'm going into a new person. Yeah. Like, and you... Um, so that's, yeah, because I like to keep me, me. Mm. And um, I've, I'm, I've enjoyed the relationships I've been in when I've been in them. So they're not, not saying anything negative but I always when I lose too much of me I have to retreat a bit I think I, I think that's maybe something I need to learn have a... but then also at the same time I find it interesting because yeah. you get to kind of be a different version of yourself yeah yeah in that given situation yeah um, so you might you might be more I guess relaxed about certain things that um, your partner might do but that's that being in that situation but if it was any other person you would probably maybe tell them that what you're doing is wrong or something like that or you might it's, it's I don't know you do it in any type of relationship really it's just I, I thought about it it's like kind of a thing where everything that you do you do it for yourself and mm. it's kind of am I okay with this and it has to be okay with you to an extent, not all the time, but to an extent you have to be kind of somewhat, not, I don't think the word is comfortable, but do you, do you get what I mean? Like you have to, you have to have that conversation with yourself. Like, okay, this is what it is. This is how I'm, this is the situation I'm in. Mm. I know it's not right. I'm, I'm not possibly maybe safe, but how it is now or this part of it I'm say I, I feel okay kind of thing you, you, you I don't know it's, it's yeah. hard to explain or but well, so you're saying um when, when you're with that person you are, what you're saying you express um a different way that you wouldn't usually yeah yeah but it's kind of for example you might know that if you react a certain way with a certain person yeah 
although that's normal for you to act that way, you can't 